Hi, my name is Lee Galloway, and I'm tennis director here at Crane Creek Country Club in Boise. I know many of you are hunkered down at home right now, but you can still find ways to work on your game. And today, I'm going to show you a quick tip that you can practice at home. You don't even need to be on a tennis court to, to work on this. Uh, I found that this is one of the biggest causes of unforced errors. Ball's not going to the target, miss hits, whatever you want to say. And that's keeping your head down on contact, eyes on the ball, and not lifting your head up. So let's go ahead and let's show you a few things that can help you with this. I call it the last 12 inches before contact. What I want you to focus on is as you are swinging forwards, making contact with the ball, keep your eyes on the contact point and head down. Too often, I see people swinging, but right before contact, the head starts lifting, the eyes are lifting. You have to trust your shot. And if you don't keep the eyes and on the ball and the head down, that ball could literally go anywhere. The emphasis is as you're swinging, the head is staying down on the contact point. For some of you, this may feel like it's being exaggerated, but it's gonna help you. Let's try it. There's the forehands. Now let's try this drill for your backhand. As you can see, my racket is clearly following through while my head is still on the contact point. This prevents my head from lifting because when this head lifts, the racket head will also lift too. Well, solving this problem can help you eliminate mishits, badly directed balls, and it's gonna help your game. Don't forget during these times, keep social distancing in order, six feet in between people, and if you are playing tennis, make sure you wash your hands well for 20 seconds after you're done playing. Stay safe, thank you.